How did you come up with such an innovative, innovative idea? Yeah, I'm just, uh, uh, the question is only one, simple question. Is I and my partner is smart, that's it. <laughs> Two months ago, they fired me and to take another CEO. Uh, I'm never ever, never ever was a, was a owner of this, owner of this. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the podcast, welcome to Canavisan Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about a company called Juicy Fields. And who's, who's Ju Juicy Fields and what are we talking about? Because right now there's a lot of things going on. If you guys look at social media, if you guys look mainly into like the crypto space and like the cannabis space, uh, there's some talk about this company and we're going to talk about it. So who's Juicy Fields? First of all, Juicy Fields is a company that is based in Europe and maybe that's why there's actually not that many news in the US about it. And... Actually, the reason I'm doing this video in, in English, I did one in Spanish, is because I saw that on the chats, a lot of like English speaking people invested in this company and they actually didn't know what was going on. And people will like put stuff in Spanish and these people were like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. So that's why I'm doing it in English. I, I think there were a lot of investors in the English speaking uh, part of the world and not a lot of news are out there about what's happening with this. So, sorry, going back again, it's a European company. It was um, mainly... Again, I'm saying in Latin American uh, countries, it was promoted very heavily there. Uh, and what was it? It was a web page. They like to call it a platform, but it was a web page where you sign up just with your email and you could invest in the cannabis sector. What they were saying was that you will invest, like, for example, in three strains, right? Or three different ones. And you cho chose which one and each one gave you different returns. Uh, the thing here would is that you will have to wait, right? Six, nine, 12, because they said, once the plant grows, we sell it, and then you get your profits. There's a lot of things wrong with that, but that's what they were saying. Um, let's see. So if you chose a plant and then say you spend $1,000, then you will have to transfer the money to an Ethereum uh, address or a bank account. So the bank account, just so you guys know, it was based on Cyprus, which is a paradise for fiscal, well, tax evasion and money laundering and of course the Ethereum account you send the money who knows you know that address they can send the, the money to other addresses and you never know who owns that account so the right that right there it should give a lot of red flags now just so you guys know this is interesting because this this, this is just like the mining scams like the Bitcoin or the crypto mining scams where they will be like oh you don't have to buy the equipment you don't have to mine it in your house you know give us the money we have all these miners give us money and, and you know in 30 60 90 days we're going to give you uh, your money, your returns, which was bullshit. There was no miners. There was no uh, mining warehouse. It was all bullshit. You know, you just put your money. It was a Ponzi. And they will pay out with a Ponzi. All right. So what happened this week? So first of all, Monday, everything was run running fine. Like always, like in all the Ponzi schemes, everything runs fine till it doesn't. And that doesn't was this week. On Monday, what happened, there was like rumors that people couldn't withdraw their money. And usually with Ethereum, you could withdraw right away, right? So that was what started to happen on Monday. And then on Tuesday, social media went blank. So I'm going to show you guys right here the social media. This is the Facebook. This is the Instagram. The page doesn't exist. LinkedIn doesn't exist. Twitter doesn't exist. And then YouTube, there's no videos. So that right there uh, should definitely open your eyes as to you are in a scam. Uh, you're in a Ponzi scheme. Uh, now, on Tuesday, there was an email sent out. So, you know, all of this is planned. People don't realize that this is all planned. This is the exit, and it was all planned beforehand. So they started sending out emails, right, saying, like, oh, the reason you cannot log in is because the IT team went on strike, and, you know, there's this conflict, internal conflict, and, you know, management has to talk to the IT team in order to release the funds and let everyone, everything start working back up, right? So that's the email I sent. And then people replied to that email. And what happened is that that email didn't work, right? So it, it, it will bounce back. Like there was no, that account didn't exist. So now on Wednesday, they sent that, like they started, the thing is like if all the, if all the social media went down, then they cannot put out like statements, right? Because you wouldn't know if that's a true statement or it was fake. But 
it started going around. And the reason we started going around is because there's influencers that were paid by that company, by Juicy Fields. There were content creators paid by Juicy Fields. So maybe they had contact with management or something like that. But there was this statement coming out saying that everything was fine. They were trying to fix it. You know, management was, was talking to the IT team, but not to worry, not to give in to the FUD uh, that, you know, in 40, no, it, like everything was going to be fine. And don't worry because if everyone panics, everything's worse. So they, they, they came with the, on Wednesday, they, posted that out there uh, and again it cannot be verified if it was true or not but everybody took it as as a word right and then there was an influencer that started spreading this other an influencer that used to work for juice fields they started putting this out saying like oh they, they're going to be liberated in 48 hours you know they talked to the team and they're going to liberate the, the funds in 48 hours which was going to be friday this is all bullshit, you know, it's, um, they were just saying this to make more time and also because pro probably a lot of people didn't even know what was going on and there's also lies that, that go through when this is happening. Now on Thursday, the CEO of a company called Juicy Fields AG, I believe, it's based in Switzerland, um, his name is Willem, he put out a statement saying that basically he was washing his hands, he wasn't going to be a CEO anymore, he quit and that, that wasn't his problem. So they started circulating that around. That was Thursday, so you know, 48 hours, people still think that they're gonna get their money out in, on Friday. And on Thursday, also, they changed the page. So I'm gonna show you guys the contact page. On Thursday, it shows, sorry, we are closed. So that wasn't there before. And a lot of this has been changed in the, in the past few days, just so you guys know. So what I do is I go to the Wayback Machine, and I go to the Wayback Machine, and I go to 2020, 2021. Uh, 2022 because this 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 page uh, was first opened in 2020. Now that's what's been happening. Uh, well, on on Thursday and then you know Friday came around, nothing happened. No money was uh, surrendered. Nobody got their money back. People still cannot do withdrawals, of course. And what we're actually seeing is that the Ethereum accounts have been drained. Right, we can see them. It's a public ledger, and we can see that the money has been been uh, withdrawn since Thursday. I think they've been moving small amounts out. So it's the exit, uh, the exit, the the exit scam, the rug pull, whatever you want to call it, has happened. And I, one thing that I want to talk about is the juicy field structure because I think it's very interesting. Uh, you have a bunch of companies all over the world uh, in Mexico, in, in Spain, in Colombia, named Juicy Fields, right? Who opened them? Who knows? Why did they open them? Who knows? But there's three important ones that I think are worth talking about. Actually, two in 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 specific, and that's Juicy Grow GmbH, which was open in Germany, and then Juicy Fields AG, which was open in Switzerland. Both companies are completely different. I mean, the names are the same, almost the same, but they're completely different owners uh, in different countries, and they were set up at different times. Now, the reason I, I mention this is because right now, a lot of people are talking about like, you know, suing them, finding them, you know, looking at the owners of this, who are they? And a lot of people are looking for Juicy Fields AG, instead of Juicy Grow GmbH. And the reason I think people should be looking at Juicy Grow GmbH is because that's the one that since when the company got started and whenever they made the website, it has always been, as you can see right here, Juicy Grow GmbH. And that's from 2020, this is from 2021, Juicy Grow GmbH, and then 2022, Juicy Grow GmbH. Doesn't matter if there's another company that sounds the same or if there's a CEO talking and you know giving explanations. That, I, I believe that doesn't matter because the CEO and the comp I mean the company has always been Juicy Grow GmbH and the CEO has always been Alan Glantz and the principal is Victor Bittner. Now Victor Bittner, I believe that name has been thrown around on other Bitcoin scams, uh, but you know I'm, I haven't verified it, but it's very questionable who that person is and if it's a real person. And then one of the things that I want to mention too is that this. This Juicy Fields AG used to be called Luxburg Carolath, and in 2018, so this was way before even Juicy Fields was, you know, was known or was even created. Uh, in 2018, it was called Luxburg Carolath, and then Luxburg Carolath changed their name to Juicy Fields AG in 2021, last year. And then this is the only reason I mentioned that LC Pharma is owned by this company. It's because for some reason on Tuesday on the Juicy Fields website, the contact info was changed to the email of LC Pharma. It's LC, lcmed.de. So that, and that was very interesting because this company has nothing to do with this company. And actually, if you went to lcmed.de 
as you can see in this page, they put a pop-up right away on Tuesday. They added a pop-up that say, we have nothing to do with juicy fields, like, you know, there's nothing between this company and the other company. And actually, that's what's gonna what's been happening in the past two days, you know. If you go back to the websites and if you see who the members were, um, you know, they had like five offices, you know, we have five offices in Germany, Portugal, Malta, Spain, Netherlands. We have all these people, the CEO, this the chief development officer, all of these people, all these directors, you have people, the CEO of LATAM, you have uh, CEO of Colombia, you have marketing. These are real people too. Uh, you know, you have all these people on there. Sorry, I cannot move the mouse here. Um, and you know, you have all these people, it's like almost maybe 15 people on, on, the, on this website. But now if you go to the website today, they changed everything and there's only three, four or five people. <laughs> That's it. So. Um, do, if you're going to go to the website, don't even trust anything that is there because in the past four days, they have changed everything uh, many, many times. And well, one other thing that is very interesting that has been happening in the past two days is that now they've been giving out the passports. I have no idea how they got the passports from a lot of the owners of, of GmbH, but here is the CEO. Somehow they got their passport and here's Victor Bittner. And who knows? Uh, who knows how they got this so fast? And finally, like I said, um, the Ethereum accounts have been drained and I think it's gonna be really hard for people to get their money back. But I do have to tell people again, if, you, if they're gonna sue or they're looking for someone, it has to be GmbH. Because basically, Juicy Fields AG in Switzerland is just gonna be like, that has nothing. We might have the same name and you know they, maybe they talk, but legally they're gonna be like, that has nothing to do with us. So I don't, I don't think people should be you know, wasting their time researching that company and they should just be looking for Alan Glantz, Victor Bittner, and all the owners of Juicy Grow GmbH. Just, just if you guys know, wanna know how I got this information, I just look at the public registers of Germany and Switzerland and you can find, you know, like their, uh, uh, who's the owners, when they, the companies got registered and when there were changes and things like that. So that is all guys, um, you know, this is another scam of many. There's it's another Ponzi out of so many uh, that have been happening in the past 20 years, right? And I think um, a lot of this happen, happens in Latin America and a lot of this never comes to the US or Canada, you know, English speaking countries never hear about these cases and all of these scams that happen in Latin America. But I believe that there is a lot of people that in the English speaking world who invested in this company. And that's why I made this video in English because there is not that much information in English and it's kind of hard to find find it and translate if you have to translate everything. I'm gonna leave, leave you guys and I'm gonna leave you with this video, which I think is interesting. And you know, uh, just be careful out there. And if it's too good to be true and if the returns are really high, it's probably a scam, especially if they tell you to send money to an Ethereum account or a bank that is in a, you know, in a country that is known to be uh, used for tax evasion and you know money laundering and things like that. Well, guys, that is all. I'll see you on the next one. Money, money, green. It all started with a dream. Getting rich in the rush, now me. Money, money, green. Straight out of Medellin. Grown as a motherfucking tip. Money, money, green. Started with a dream. Now we getting rich, now me. Money, money, green. Straight out of Medellin. Grown as a motherfucking